Hi, hello, and welcome to a different kind of video. Um, basically, I am massively procrastinating. <laughs> um, this one big massive jumper gift net. Um, and I was watching some Vlogmases, and I was like, I kind of feel like <laughs> making a little video. It snowed last night and this morning, um, and we've got some <laughs> little goodies coming in the food shop today and we're gonna put up our Christmas tree and watch a Christmas movie um, and I've seen a couple of people put their Christmas tree up and decorations and I'm just I'm just really excited <laughs> um, so we'll, this is gonna be a test of my editing skills my mental health <laughs> um, and see if I'm ever gonna make another one this month but um, I thought I'd just make one purely, well not purely but kind of purely <laughs> just to look back on um, because I really like looking back on videos um, and yeah I feel like ever since, <laughs> ever since my cat died like I've been taking so many more videos of like just general life, boring life because when my cat died like all I did was sit and watch the videos that I'd taken of her and I only had like three or four proper ones and yeah so a bit sad but um that's the truth. <laughs> Um, so it is currently, well, I actually don't know the time, probably around two or half two in the afternoon, so um, it'll start to be really dark soon. But um, yeah, so this morning I have been knitting a gift net, which is this, which looks awful at the moment. <laughs> It is actually going to be a, I think it's called The Best Berry by James N. Watts. Um, it's all scrumpled up on a tiny needle and it definitely needs a good block um, for the final thing to look good. But I have knitted this once already and had to unravel it because I followed the pattern pretty much word for word. Um, and I tried it on and it, I don't even think it would have fit a baby. I have no idea where he got the measurement for the, for the, because you start with an iPod and then you pick up the stitches along the iPod and he, he says to knit it, I'm, I'm doing like the small size, he says to knit a 16 inch iPod even though it's meant to fit a head that's around 22 inches. And I was like, this doesn't sound right, <laughs> but I went with it, I trusted the pattern, and I shouldn't have. Um, so that's frustrating. I I should have gone with my gut and and I should have lengthened it. Um yeah, so that's really frustrating. I've already knit this once, had to unravel it, knitting it another time. If it's I don't think it's gonna be too small because I have tried it on. My name, come here. I'm using um, Cascade 220 yarn. No, 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 no. I swear, Nanny is just always causing trouble. The colour is 8891 if you're interested. Um, so, yeah, that's something that I've been doing all morning. Hopefully, finish up today. Um, yeah, this is where I sit in it, by the way. Like, I don't think I've ever showed it before. Um, so behind the scenes, no makeup, um, <laughs> yeah, not done up at all. I'm currently snuggling with um, my hot water bottle, which I have self-drafted and it's a machine knit pattern. No, no, no. A self-drafted machine knit pattern and this is what I am gifting to like the majority of people <laughs> that um yeah so yeah 
yes that's keeping me warm when I woke up today it was like 12 degrees in here and like 5 degrees in the kitchen um, so it's very cold now which is good but also bad um, Karina has deep cleaned <laughs> the radiators in here and put foil behind them so hopefully that will uh, that'll do something to keep the house better but um, yeah so now I'm just gonna knit hopefully finish that then maybe go for a walk in the snow if um, if we can be asked <laughs> then I'm gonna make some like pasties I, I actually eat vegan me and Karina eat vegan it's not really something that I talk about because obviously I don't use vegan yarn so I feel like a hypocrite calling myself a vegan anymore um, so I just don't it's a complicated one for me but I eat vegan um, so I'm going to make vegan like Cornish pasty situations <laughs> I don't know I kind of made it up but it's really good um, and then put up the tree watch a Christmas movie eat some nice little Christmas goodies so yeah I'll see you later Okay, so here is our Christmas tree. <laughs> this is the Boy by Petite Knit that I can't remember the name of. And Karina's gonna help me talk about all the baubles because actually we've not got that many. <laughs> but, um, but we've got good ones. This one's Karina's favourite. You have to show the the star exhaust. And it's got the toasters. I mean, where else would you get a crocodile wearing a scarf in a spaceship? Christmas <laughs> it, like. This one's my favourite because Floki loved flamingos. Um, and it's okay, Rainbow. I thought you need to give more context than Floki loves flamingos. Um, because that's quite a strange thing to say. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't think so. She had a flamingo toy that was her favourite thing in life. Okay, no, we've only like got five baubles that aren't like well, you got have your little nappy sock. I have a little nappy sock. Yeah. yeah. But we're going to buy some more. Yeah. So, we have our gay rainbow. Did you already see I that? I did, yeah. Right. God, we're running out of ones to talk about. The aftermath. Where did we get these little ones? Hey. Oh gosh. B and M. <laughs> I thought it was Tiger. No, it was B and M. It was Tiger or B and M, one out of one. Right. That was gifted, that one. By your auntie. <laughs> God, that was like proper <laughs> could have scanned my retinas for that. <laughs> on the wall but this is my Santa suit hung up I will link the pattern below I made this last year and it took forever and I will not be making it again but you loved it well I like the outcome this is my favourite the gloves 
and I actually I made this one up <laughs> but the rest is the pattern yeah. I think it looks nice above the telly sorry I'm making noises with my toolbox Yay! You like them, don't you, Nanny? He wants to play with them. 